Horia T. Callan, Robert Lindsay, congrats on the first round win here at the US Open. By my count, that makes uh, 20 wins of your past 22 matches. Uh, Robert, what's, what's been working so well for the team? Ah, uh, I didn't know it was that much, actually. Uh, it's what's been working well. I don't know, it's, it's a good time of the year for us. It's uh, coming from the grass and then going to, to, to hard courts over here with fast conditions. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, conditions that suit our game style very well. Yep. I mean, uh, Horia, I believe uh, during that run you've had three three titles as well as uh, reaching a third consecutive Wimbledon final. Do you feel that the team is playing as well as you, you ever have together? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's our best uh, summer so far, the best results we had. Uh, qualified for the ATP finals very early in the year, so we're very happy about that. Uh, I think there was a lot of, a lot of hard, hard work paying off. And we, we treat every tournament like it's, uh, it's a Grand Slam, so uh, uh, we're eager to, to get a title every week we played and we've been consistent, uh, consistent with what we've been doing on the court and we, we're fighting to, to stay the same. And Robert, you find yourself with a, a definite chance to end the year world number one. Uh, you're definitely in consideration there. Was that a goal at the start of the season? No, I can't say it was. Uh, if it is, it's uh, been a dream, a very far-fetched dream in that case. Uh, and I, I can honestly say that's absolutely nothing that I think about. It's, uh, it's always been that far away. I mean, if it happens, then it's amazing, but it's not something I like sleepless of uh, at night. One of the titles you won this year was in Bucharest, where uh, I, I guess uh, Hori is treated like a god over there. Is he? Can you tell us tell us what reception he gets at home? No, he is. He's a uh, he's a uh, he's a big star at home. Uh, I have to say that's one of the most fun wins I've had in my career. A very rewarding win. I was very happy to to help Hori like he helped me back home in Bostad. So, uh, but you know he's uh, he's treated very well uh, as as he's deserved to be. So he's. Uh, He's a big star like all of us doubles boys should be. Hori, <laughs> uh, there's been many upsets so far at the US Open on the doubles side. Uh, have you got any thoughts on, on why that is? Uh, not really. Maybe the conditions are different than, uh, than what we played on last, uh, the last few weeks. And uh, they, they lost against some singles players that had more time on the court, uh, more confidence, nothing to lose. Uh, you know, you go... You go out on the court against a, a top doubles team and you have nothing to lose. You start swinging and uh, balls go in and they get maybe they get a little tight and uh, they get the win. It wasn't uh, just beatings, it was very, very close matches all around, but uh, we, we don't really look at that. You know, we're just focusing on, uh, on, our, on our matches. Of course, and you won your first ATP World Tour Masters 1000 title in, in Cincinnati, so you couldn't really have asked for a better lead up coming into the US Open, do you think this could well be the, the year to win win the Open? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, being number three in the world, winning in Cincinnati, uh, of course, I mean, we we play for Grand Slams, but... I mean, the goal is always there. But to, to win Grand Slams, you need to win, to play consistent over two weeks, you need to win a lot of matches and like we did in the past and we were successful in uh, when, when we played well in slams we're just focusing at one, one match at a time all right guys good luck the rest of the tournament thank you